So today we'll be going through the steps on how you can mount an engine to an engine stand, meaning how do you figure out the length of the bolts required, the thickness, purchasing them, and just mounting everything together. So that being said, let's get to it. But the best thing you could really do is just take the transmission mounting bolts. So in this case we had four bolts holding on the transmission to the rear of the motor. And what I do, what I tend to do is just thread in the bolt all the way down. Okay, let me just grab a wrench real quick. Okay, just tighten it down here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just mark that just to get an idea on the length or in other words, how much thread is actually in the block right now. And I'll show you what I mean in a moment, but let me just mark this off real quick. Okay, here we go. Let's place some tape. Give some paint you can dab on there, whatever you have. Okay, here we go. Let's back this out. Now these bolts tend not to be long enough when you need to uh, mount this on an engine stand. Okay, let me grab a tape measure. Now looking at the bolts here, it's roughly, there you go, it's roughly uh, about three quarters of an inch. It doesn't have to be exact, but around three quarters of an inch, okay? Now, if we take a look at the engine stand here. Now looking at the engine stand here, as you can see the bolt is just not long enough. So, what you could do is just measure this portion of the stand. This is roughly two and three quarters of an inch. We need another three quarters of an inch. So roughly three and a half inches. We need a bolt roughly three and a half inches long, but now when it comes to the thickness of the bolt, that's maybe your next question. What you could do is take the bolt with you to Home Depot, Lowe's, your local uh, parts store. And in the bolt and washer section of the store, they have these little displays that would show size M8, M10, M12, M14, and even in, uh, in standard measurements, 3 8 5 16, so on and so forth. And there are these little display stands, I'll try to attach a picture of what it looks like. What you could do is just thread in the bolt into these display stands and it'll tell you exactly the thickness of the bolt. In this case, it happens to be an M10 uh, size bolt. It's metric. So I know the thickness, which is M10. I know the length. And a lot of times the metric bolts come in millimeters in length. You could just do a conversion on Google on your cell phone while you're at the store. Just do millimeters to inches and you'll get the exact measurement. And that's it. So these are the bolts I've gotten. Now, unfortunately in my case, it was either too short that they had in stock or too long. So obviously I went with the longer one, and I'll just attach some washers in the back here. But this will certainly work to mount up our engine from the 240Z here. So all we're doing now is just lining up the bolts. And just placing them all in place here. That's it guys, we're in good shape. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.